Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Ubuntu, a Linux distribution that's turning heads with its uncanny resemblance to our old friend Windows. Now for the uninitiated, Linux distributions are like different flavors of the same delicious operating system, each with its own unique blend of features and appearances. Ubuntu, in particular, has gained notoriety for its efforts to emulate the look and feel of Windows, making it an intriguing prospect for those looking to dip their toes into the vast ocean of Linux without sacrificing the familiar comforts of a Windows environment. At its core, Ubuntu leverages the power and versatility of Ubuntu, a popular and user-friendly Linux distribution known for its stability and extensive software library. Building upon this solid foundation, Ubuntu incorporates a custom desktop environment meticulously crafted to mimic the aesthetic sensibilities of Windows. From the iconic start menu and taskbar to the familiar window layout and system icons, every element has been carefully tailored to evoke a sense of familiarity for Windows users. This attention to detail extends beyond mere aesthetics, as Ubuntu also strives to replicate the functionality of common Windows applications through carefully chosen alternatives from the Linux ecosystem. But Ubuntu is more than just a pretty face. It inherits the robustness, security, and customizability that Linux is renowned for, offering a compelling alternative to proprietary operating systems. With Ubuntu, users gain access to a vast repository of open-source software, empowering them to tailor their computing experience to their specific needs without the constraints often imposed by closed ecosystems. Whether it's productivity tools, multimedia software, or programming environments, Ubuntu provides a wealth of options, often surpassing the offerings available in the Windows world. So, is Ubuntu simply a Windows clone, or is there more to it than meets the eye? Join us as we delve deeper into the intricacies of this intriguing operating system, comparing it head-to-head -head with Windows, exploring the legal debates surrounding its existence, and hearing from users who have taken the Ubuntu plunge. Stay tuned! Now let's get down to brass tacks and compare Ubuntu with Windows. On the surface, the resemblance is striking. Ubuntu's desktop environment is a carefully constructed homage to the Windows aesthetic, featuring a familiar start menu, taskbar, and window management system. For those migrating from Windows, this familiarity can significantly ease the transition, minimizing the learning curve often associated with adopting a new operating system. However, beneath this veneer of familiarity lie some key distinctions. While Ubuntu excels at replicating the Windows look and feel, it's essential to remember that it's still Linux at its core. This means that certain aspects of the user experience, particularly when it comes to software compatibility and system settings, will differ from what Windows users are accustomed to. While Ubuntu offers a plethora of alternative applications designed to replace their Windows counterparts, there might be instances where specific software titles are unavailable or require workarounds to function correctly. Functionality-wise, Ubuntu holds its own remarkably well. It boasts a robust set of pre-installed applications catering to everyday computing needs, from word processing and spreadsheet editing to web browsing and multimedia playback. The underlying Ubuntu base ensures access to a vast software repository, allowing users to easily find and install additional applications to suit their specific requirements. However, it's worth noting that certain advanced features and functionalities commonly found in Windows, particularly those deeply integrated with Microsoft's ecosystem, might not have direct equivalents in Ubuntu. When it comes to performance, Ubuntu often has the edge, especially on older hardware. Linux-based systems are renowned for their efficient resource utilization, allowing them to breathe new life into aging machines that might struggle to run the latest versions of Windows smoothly. Ubuntu's lightweight desktop environment further contributes to its snappy performance, delivering a responsive and enjoyable computing experience even on modest hardware configurations. The uncanny resemblance between Ubuntu and Windows inevitably raises eyebrows in the legal department. Is Ubuntu walking on thin ice by mimicking the look and feel of a proprietary operating system? The answer, as is often the case in the legal realm, isn't a simple yes or no. Ubuntu, like many Linux distributions, is built upon open-source software, meaning its source code is freely available for anyone to use, modify, and distribute. This fundamental principle of open-source software forms the bedrock of Ubuntu's legal standing. 
The crux of the matter lies in the distinction between functionality and design. While Ubuntu replicates the aesthetic elements of Windows, it doesn't infringe upon any copyrighted code or proprietary technologies. The desktop environment, while visually reminiscent of Windows, is built using open-source components and libraries, ensuring Ubuntu remains firmly within the bounds of legal open-source development. However, the line between inspiration and infringement can become blurry, and the extent to which Ubuntu's resemblance to Windows constitutes fair use remains a topic of debate within legal and tech circles. Microsoft, for its part, has remained relatively silent on the matter. While the company fiercely protects its intellectual property, it has generally adopted a more tolerant stance towards open-source projects that draw inspiration from its products, likely recognizing the value of fostering innovation and competition within the tech ecosystem. However, it's important to note that this tolerance shouldn't be misconstrued as explicit endorsement or a free pass for wholesale copying. The legal landscape surrounding software design and intellectual property is constantly evolving, and what constitutes acceptable inspiration today might be deemed infringement tomorrow. It's crucial for the Ubuntu community and its developers to tread carefully, striking a balance between their aspirations of providing a familiar and accessible computing experience and respecting the intellectual property rights of others. Transparent development practices, clear attribution of borrowed design elements, and open communication with the broader open source community are essential for navigating this complex legal terrain and ensuring the long-term sustainability of the project. So, what's it actually like to use Ubuntu? Well, user experiences are generally positive, particularly among those transitioning from Windows who appreciate the familiar surroundings. The learning curve is significantly gentler compared to adopting a more traditional Linux distribution, allowing users to quickly adapt and feel productive in their new computing environment. Many users praise Ubuntu's stability, speed and responsiveness, especially on older hardware that might struggle to keep up with the demands of modern Windows versions. The tech community's reception to Ubuntu has been mixed, with some applauding its efforts to make Linux more accessible to a wider audience, and others expressing concerns about its close resemblance to Windows, potentially causing confusion or even legal ramifications. Some argue that Ubuntu might create unrealistic expectations among users accustomed to the vast software library and specific functionalities of Windows, leading to disappointment when they encounter compatibility issues or missing features. Despite its many strengths, Ubuntu isn't without its drawbacks. The limited software availability compared to Windows remains a significant hurdle for some users, especially those reliant on specific industry standard applications or niche software titles. While Ubuntu offers a plethora of alternatives, they might not always provide the same level of functionality or compatibility as their Windows counterparts. Additionally, users accustomed to the seamless integration and extensive feature set of Windows might find Ubuntu's offerings in areas like gaming, multimedia editing or enterprise-grade software to be somewhat lacking. So, is Ubuntu worth trying? If you're a Windows user looking for a stable, secure and customizable alternative that feels familiar, Ubuntu offers a compelling proposition. Its Windows-like interface and robust feature set make it an easy transition, allowing you to enjoy the benefits of Linux without sacrificing familiarity. However, it's crucial to approach Ubuntu with realistic expectations, understanding that it's not a perfect Windows replacement and certain compromises might be necessary. Ultimately, the best way to determine if Ubuntu is right for you is to try it for yourself. Download the free ISO image, create a bootable USB drive and take it for a spin. You might just be surprised at what you discover.